of camera manipulation, how to use the distance level editor gizmos, and a few handy shortcuts. So first things first, you all probably have ventured into the level editor and seen this barren wasteland of, a, of an environment. If you want to see kind of a more populated environment, you can go into opening level files and choose one of the official levels in order to kind of just see how it's done. For example, dodge the one of the official refract and challenge levels. Now in order to move the camera around you want to right click and drag it around the screen and this, as you'll figure out, uh, changes from what perspective you look at the focus point. The focus point is very important. The focus point is usually wherever the cursor is or wherever an object is. If you want to focus on a specific object, just middle click the mouse wheel. If you want to zoom in or out, just use the mouse wheel uh, up or down. And if you want to focus on a specific area instead of a specific object, then just right click on the object and press C. Now that's about all of the camera manipulation you need to know. The second thing we need to talk about is gizmos. Gizmos are the different built-in tools that you use in order to move, reorient, reposition things. First gizmo is the movement gizmo. And this gizmo allows you to move objects around by different planes of movement, along a straight line or on a two-dimensional plane. As you can see here, um, there are two different gizmos. Aside from the movement gizmo, one is the rotational gizmo, which you can see here is pretty self-explanatory, and the other is the resizement gizmo, which you can use to change the size of various objects. There's a couple of other handy shortcuts that you can use for creating uh, more complex structures based on one object. One is the copy shortcut, control C. And control V. We'll copy whatever object you have highlighted. If, for example, though you uh, want to copy objects more efficiently, the duplicate command, which basically duplicates an object so you can move it around. If you want to duplicate it in place and move it later, you can uh, press Ctrl D and just uh, click without moving your, your mouse key. One of the other shortcuts that I think it's handy to know is the positioning shortcuts. If you want to drag an object to the position of the cursor, you would put the cursor on an object somewhere. Press Shift S, and then for example if you wanted to reorient it, that'd be Alt S, which would reorient it to the position of the track or of the object. So it stands up kind of along the track spine instead of being crooked or instead of you having to reorient it yourself. All right, and that concludes this tutorial. I hope you find it most found it most informative, and I will see you sometime later for more complex subjects.